We, on Mother's Day, we tried so hard to get her to say mama. <laughs> we were like, every word was mama basically the whole day. I swear she's going to be two before no, she said mama. No, it's going to happen. <laughs> that Alessi is about to be a year old. How are you guys feeling about it? Because I know when my daughter, she turned a year old last month, it was very emotional for me. Like, I, you, know, I, I, you know, I was happy about it, but I was also kind of sad because I'm like, oh, she's not my little baby anymore. I know, it is sad. I'm like almost getting emotional right now thinking about it, but... It's just crazy. I think I've started to realize that she's turning one soon over the last month and a half or so. So I just kind of like sit back and watch her a lot. And I'm like trying to take in all the moments and yeah. it's really sweet. This this age is so cool, you know, because she's learning something new every day and she's starting to, you know, pick up on little things and say words here and there. And she's like so close to walking on her own. And it's just like every day is something fun and new and exciting. And mm -hmm. I feel like this year has flown by. I feel like in, on one hand, it's been, it feels like it's been a long time, but the next, it's like gone it's by. It's like, like, where that. did it go? Yeah. yeah. And yeah, it's I like, when it back it feels like the longest year of your life, but also the quickest, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, what kind of big milestones has she been? Like you said that she's almost walking. I saw that she's doing using the little push cart, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she has started saying a few words, like she still hasn't said mama, which is disappointing, but <laughs> she says dada, she says turtle, she tries to say birdie. She basically will, like, try and repeat everything we say, but those are the only ones that she really got down. Yeah, we, on Mother's Day, we tried so hard to get her to say mama. <laughs> we were like, every word was mama basically the whole day. I swear she's gonna be too. Before no, it's gonna happen <laughs> when you leave. I'm not saying mama either, and I'm trying so hard. <laughs> it's like really sad to watch, I'm sure. I'm always like, say mama, say mama. Girl <laughs> is very impressive. That's a big word. I know. That was her second word. I was really shocked. Yeah. It just kind of came Crazy. out. What would you say yeah. what was the biggest challenge this year for you guys? Um, in your parents and also in your relationship, because it does change your relationship a lot as well. Yeah, I think for me, it was just kind of finding my identity again, like individually. But for us together, I think it's kind of balancing him having time to do his things and work and then same for me. And then us being able to balance parent time with with our time as a couple. Yeah, I think when you become parents, you know, you get worried that you can't accomplish all the things that you want to accomplish in the time frame that you want to. I think that she's very independent and so nice. We both have these dreams of what we want to do. And um, when you become new parents, all of a sudden there's like that role, of, you know, how much time am I going to dedicate to work and how much time is she going to dedicate to work? And that was really hard. Yeah. But I feel like we've got a handle on it now. Mm -hmm. Much better. Much better. <laughs> I mean, did that cause like problems in the relationship at all? Like, did you guys, you know, you know, have arguments about things like that? Because, you know, like you said, you do lose your identity for a little while and it takes a while for you to kind of feel like yourself again. Yeah. I mean, we definitely had arguments about it. I think everyone does, but. I just... think at the beginning, there's only so much the husband can do, you know, mm -hmm. as far as the breastfeeding thing is just like such a monumental, you know, task for every, it's so non-stop and all day and all night and you know as a husband you're kind of there like in the middle of the night just for moral support and changing diapers but really that's all you can do yeah. so i could tell he really wanted to be involved because he would always be like right up next to me when i was breastfeeding <laughs> her i'm like can you give me a little space <laughs> yeah but well, we had our i mean it was tough it's i think it's tough for anybody um and we yeah. both work from home so we're around each other all the time too and I think that's why we've adapted well to quarantine, to be honest. What are you guys planning for her first birthday? Um, well, now that things are lifted, I guess it changes things a little bit, but I'm just putting a really cute setup in the backyard with balloons and like a happy birthday Leslie sign with a little chair for her to have a cake smash and we'll probably like swim and have her grandparents over, maybe yeah. some of her friends. I got her a tiny, well, a tiny, I got her a <laughs> remote control Range Rover that I can steer for, <laughs> she sits in and I can steer it for. Oh my God, that's so fun. I love that. It is really <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable. How would you guys describe each other as parents? Um, yeah, how <laughs> you would you describe um, me? <laughs> well, I mean, obviously Lauren is very loving and caring. And I think that um, before she was a mom, 
she was uh, not so, uh, how do I put this, structured. And now she's just so on top of things. When it comes to Olesi, she she's always sort of on me like, hey, it's 11 o'clock. She needs to be eating her bottle. You know, she's just like very on it. I'm bossy. No, you're not, you're not bossy. I'm just saying you're like so in tune with what she needs. And that's such an interesting thing to see as, as a husband, how all of a sudden when uh, Lauren became a mom, he knew exactly what Alessi needed at all times. And it was so cute to see their mom and how that was so natural. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would just say, I'm just like very tender hearted when it comes to Alessi. Like if she wants to hug him, like he'll be like all stressed out and have so much anxiety. And then she'll come over and just give him a hug and he'll be like, oh, you're so cute. And then like the whole world just melts away around them. Yes, so sure. it's just really yeah. cool to interact. Yeah. Is she a daddy's girl? I don't know. I mean, she's a dad. Hey, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like she's a mom of a few. No, it's cute. They do their, well, unless he doesn't put makeup on, let's just make that clear. But Lauren will sit there and put her makeup on, and Alessi will pretend with the brushes, and she's like, so adorable to see that. So I will say that I think Alessi is a mom of a girl, but we have our time too, you know, I think, it's like 50, 50. yeah, I think that, especially when she used to go out of town and have a girls weekend, I'd like share that time because it was like super like fun just to have that one-on-one -on -one time with her, mm -hmm. but um, maybe we'll have it, I don't know, who knows. <laughs>